talk bad about my team, you must be a clown. This is Keek on the mic, so you know you better bear down. Bear down. Hey, what's going on, Bears fans? Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Keek on the Mic, the podcast all about the Chicago Bears. Like always, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification to catch all Bears content right here on the podcast. So, Bears fans, if you haven't heard already, there was a report that came out like right before the weekend began, and I'm just now coming to you guys to break this news to you guys because... This has to be talked about, and I don't like going back into the past. I'm trying to let the past be the past and the future be the future, whatever. But this is some kind of like juicy gossip that I wanted to come here on the podcast and talk to you guys about. The report out of Chicago is that Justin Fields was really pissed at Bears coaches after the Browns fiasco. And much like me, all Bears fans want to forget about Justin Fields' first start as Chicago Bears quarterback. Obviously, you know, we can go back and say he got sacked nine times. I think we only had one yard and net total yards, right? It was just a total shit show for the Chicago Bears offense. And Matt Nagy didn't really give his signal caller a chance. That's that's very evident uh, by that game. And what's funny about this report, before I go in more deep detail about this, is that multiple players actually came out after Matt Nagy uh, got fired as the Chicago Bears head coach, basically talking about how bad he was as a offensive play caller where there wasn't really a lot of game plans. He didn't really scheme around his players, all that good stuff. And it, it's just interesting to really see these players come out about Matt Nagy. And it turns out going into Justin Fields' first start against the Cleveland Browns, Justin Fields absolutely hated the game plan that Matt Nagy had in place. And he thought, Justin Fields thought, that it showed some f- serious flaws especially in the production scheme. And according to Fields' personal QB coach, he had this to say when appearing on 670, the score. I'm kind of glad I didn't go because he took a beating that day. But yeah, it was kind of crazy and weird at the same time. Why would you leave those two tackles with no help? I know he was a little pissed about it, but I didn't get an explanation. And I really didn't ask because I know he was in a situation where he was really pissed off about it. And the funny thing is that other reports indicated that Fields was humiliated and not happy after that game. And let's be honest, Bears fans, Fields has every right to feel this way. Just imagine being going into your very first start against a pretty good Cleveland Browns defense with Miles Garrett, with Javion Clowney, right? And you just take an absolute, absolute beating and the coach has no game plan for you. And it turns out that Matt Nagy gave Justin Fields a Andy Dalton game plan, a game plan where Justin Fields had to get rid of the ball quickly, right? And that's one of the concerns that most Bears fans have about Justin Fields, that he doesn't get rid of the ball fast, right? But I get that. But at the same time, for Matt Nagy to not scheme around his quarterback and what he does well is a huge concern. He is lucky that Justin Fields didn't get hurt after that game. He is very lucky because Justin Fields definitely took a beating and he gave Justin Fields no chance whatsoever and it's crazy to think about that there was a lot of people after that game saying well Justin Fields didn't play well enough to win he's a rookie in his very first start think about that he's a rookie in his very first start and the coach didn't game plan around his skill set think about that even the Cleveland Browns defense came out after that game and said that they were shocked that the Bears didn't game plan to to what Justin Fields can do well. When the other team notices, that's how you know you're a bad coach. And going a little bit more on Matt Nagy, I'm so surprised that he was able to even find another job. Even though he went back to Kansas City, I'm so shocked that he was able to find another job in the NFL because he was that bad. And like I said, I hate to go back in the past because the past is the past, but this had to be talked about. This really pisses me off because obviously Matt Nagy sabotaged Mr. Bisky. He did it to Allen Robinson. And if Matt Nagy stayed around, he would have did it to Justin Fields. And he's lucky that Justin Fields didn't get hurt after that game. And it's it's just it's just really crazy to think about that. And, and it's it's really interesting because coming into the NFL draft, go, going back to last season, every single team that interviewed Justin Fields said that he was super, super smart. 
had a super high football IQ. And the fact that Matt Nagy didn't game plan around him is absolutely ridiculous. And and the point that Justin Fields was able to realize that the game plan wasn't going to work and it turned out that it didn't work, it's just like, Matt Nagy, what were you doing? Were you too prideful to actually scheme around your players? Obviously so. It's just, man, I it's just unbelievable. I'm just so glad that Matt Nagy is gone. And, and it's it's good to finally have a group of coaches that have already made it very clear that they are going to play to Justin Fields' strengths. And Justin Fields, it seems like he is already buying in to what Eberflus and Getze have planned for him. And, and as Bears fans, we should be cautiously optimistic about the future of the Chicago Bears offense and the future of Justin Fields. And also, you know, we also need to realize that we need to see it to believe it as well. We can't, you know, go in there and be like, oh, yeah, the Chicago Bears offense is going to be a top 10 offense. But let me guarantee you something. The offense should be way better than what Matt Nagy was bringing onto the field in the last four seasons as Chicago Bears head coach. I can promise you that. And if it doesn't turn out to work, you can come on this podcast in the comment section and blast me. But I am confident that... Luke Getze, Matt Eberflus will definitely play to Justin Fields' strengths. And just by doing that alone, I can see a little jump from this Chicago Bears offense. So, like always, Bears fans, comment down below in the comment section and let me know how you are feeling about the report that Justin Fields was really pissed at the Bears coaches after the Browns fiasco. Let's talk about it, and I can't wait to hear and read your guys' responses. But before I let you guys go, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification to catch all Bears content right here on the podcast. Make sure you follow me on all my social media platforms, and make sure you share this episode of Kick on the Mic with every single Bears fan that you know. But other than that, I'll be back for an all-new Bears podcast right here on Kick on the Mic. Thanks, guys, and bear down. You ain't about it, you ain't about it, you ain't kick on the mic. You ain't about it, you ain't about it, you ain't kick on the mic. You can go and subscribe, cause I be on it right. You ain't about it, you ain't about it, you ain't kick on the mic.